Genomics is the study of all genes in a tissue or in a disease at the same time. So the structure of the DNA was first described in the 50s, but it was only in the 70s that it was actually possible to do uh, to sequence the genetic code. That became extremely routine at the time, as a method that we still use today, where we can only sequence what fragment of DNA at a time. In the late 90s and then in the year 2000, the next generation sequencing technology appeared, which is basically the highly parallel sequencing of a lot of fragments at the same time. In 2001, the first human genome was sequenced using only the first, uh, first generation sequencing, and it took uh, a number of years and $3 billion to complete. Nowadays, in this facility, we can sequence 100 genome over two days using the instrument that are next door. But now it's possible to use handheld in instrument that can be used in the field to sequence uh, any samples. So they can be used in, in, in countries where we don't have the infrastructure. Also, that can be used in the clinic, for instance, for diagnostics directly on the bedside. There are 120 research labs at the Crick. We work with 80 research labs every year. I think what is just really impressive in, in, in genomics is how far things are going. Uh, new technologies and new methods and applications arrive every day. And it's really a, a game of playing catch up or leading the development of some, uh, some, some new methods.